County are scheduled to see some renovations and expansion. The ongoing Parks and Rec or Beautification Director says it's progress he's proud of. And he wants to see a change. With a turn of a key, Steve Lawson can get anywhere in one of the parks he oversees. And he means anywhere. And if you've not been to Amerson Park and seen it, uh, you're missing the special jewel that's right here in the, Macon, in the middle of Macon Big, Big County. A crown jewel that Lawson and his team consider their pride and joy. My whole team feels like they're a part of you know, what's going on, and so it's a movement. After $7 million in penny sales tax money, Amerson River Park is one of the latest parks to go from grunge to gold. Split up the recreation and the, uh, the departments to make the Parks and Beautification Department. The goal was for passive parks and community spaces to be more friendly to the communities that use them. Lawson took over as the director of Parks and Beautification since consolidation. In that time, he's overseen all 100 passive parks in the county. With consolidation, the governments came together. I think the commission we have now works well together with the administration, and we've conquered some of that stuff that uh, was tough in the beginning, and, uh, and we're off to the races now. He and his staff have even planted more than 1,000 trees. It's an effort to make the county more green and give people something to do all year round. And it makes me so proud when I, you know, walk around on a day like today knowing that the plan has fully come together. A plan that's constantly growing. The plan is to build even more parks, including a new Pinnacle Park in South Macon. Hollingsworth Road.